In this video clip, we're going to do several things. We'll start by pasting a couple of graphics into a Microsoft Word document. And before I explain what else we'll do, let me say that in a technical paper, images, drawings, photographs, pictures, even graphs and charts are all considered as figures. And figures in a technical paper need to be labeled properly. It's called a caption, has a particular format, and they must be numbered sequentially. That's the second thing we want to do, is add captions to our figures. And finally, we'll use Microsoft Word's automatic functions to create a table of figures, a professional and editable table of figures. We're going to start with an image of aspirin, acetyl salicylic acid. Now, if you don't have one drawn, of course, an easy way to find one is to check Google Images, and I happen to have one picked out here. If you haven't used the snipping tool, well, it's certainly time you did. So I click New, and then I just drag a selection box around the image I want to copy. I click Copy in the Snipping Tool dialog box. I'll minimize that, I'll minimize the web, and then back to my document. Now I can simply paste this using the Control V command, and there I pasted an image from the web. Pretty large, let's rescale that a bit. A little sloppy, but easy. When you paste an image into a Word document, it's treated as if it's a piece of text. Watch what happens when I drag it up and put it between the word chemical and name. Notice how it splits the words apart. You have limited spacing options in this fashion. I'm going to undo that. Control Z is undo. I want to show you another option for making a tidy insert. Actually, Word is already prompting me right here, but I'll show you the full sequence for that. If I go to the Format tab, which comes available whenever you select the graphic, and go to the wrap text icon. If you choose, for example, behind text or in front of text, I'll choose behind text. It becomes a free-floating object on a separate layer, and I can slide it around and put it wherever I wish without it really affecting the rest of the document. So that's one way of handling a graphic. Now, I have one drawn here in BioRad Know-It-All ChemSketch. So I'm going to choose that instead. I'll just get rid of this one, delete it, and we'll start again. Here's a know-it-all, and here is acetylsalicylic acid. Control-C will copy that. Alt-Tab should take me back. And Control-V is paste, or let's check out the paste options here. Paste special. Notice I could paste it as a biorad structure or as a metafile like a bitmap. If I choose BioRad Structure, which I'm going to do, then the image is associated with its native application. By double-clicking, it'll open up the native application, BioRad Know-It-All. So there's acetyl salicylic acid. Now I want to add a caption to this. This is a figure. It'll be figure number one in my document. So with it selected, Go to the References tab and go to simply Insert Caption. Now, in this Captions dialog box, you have some options. It's an equation, it's a figure, or a table. Well, as I mentioned before, it's an image, so it's a figure. This is figure number one. According to ACS, uh, there'll be a dot after the one, so you can type that in right here. Let's type in the actual name, acetyl salicyclic acid. Location can be either above or below, but by proper format, captions are, in fact, below the figure. And the numbering is appropriate, so let's just say OK. So there is a, a caption generated by Microsoft Word. Now, according to the ACS style guide, that's not supposed to be italicized, so I can select that, and on the Home tab, 
remove the italicization. It should not be bolded. Lowercase is correct. So this has the proper format. Let's go through that and do that again. This time we're going to take acetaminophen. I have an image for that drawn again in Biorad Know It All. Select it. Control C copies it. Alt Tab takes me back. And I'm going to choose the Paste Special Biorad Structure Object. OK. Remember how to add the caption? Select the image. Choose the References tab. Choose Insert Caption. This automatically recognizes the second caption. According to ACS, it needs a period and a space. And this is acetaminophen. And below the image, we're OK. So I've created two captions. Let's just get rid of that italicization. OK. So you might wonder, why bother to use this insert figure command when I could just type it in? Well, the beauty is if you use the word uh, option for creating the caption, you can then have Microsoft Word create a professional table of figures that's easy to edit. So let's create a table of figures for our document, although it only has two figures in it. You'll see how it works. Now, the table of figures is generally at the beginning of the document, so I'm going to do that on the first page. I'm going to scroll up to the beginning of the document. I'm currently on page 2. And let's go to page 1, top of page 1. Control E is center justify. And we'll type in table of figures. And let's make that bold. All right. So on, again, on the references tab, insert a table of figures. Now, in this table of figures dialog box, on the table of figures tab, we're showing the layout. Figures 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Then the text that we have in our caption, followed by a leader and the page number. There are other options you could choose. Classic, distinctive, centered. I'm going to stay with template. And notice it says show page numbers. Yes. Uh, right align the page numbers. Yes. Use a leader. Yes, we'll do that. Go ahead and say OK. It's just that simple. And there is a table of figures for my document. All of my images currently are on page 2, which is where they're showing. Now, Let's say, for example, as you're working in the document, you're adding more pages or subtracting pages. Maybe your graphic gets moved. Let's take this acetaminophen and hit Control Enter and put that on page three. Okay, so now that notice that's on page three. So go back to your table. Notice it doesn't automatically update, but if I simply right click on the table and click Update Field, and I'm going to update the whole table, page numbers and captions, and say OK. Notice it's made the change for me, 2 and 3. It's a really slick method to make a professional looking table of figures. You will notice that if you hover your cursor over any of the entries in your table of figures, we get a prompt telling us that a control click will bring us to the source. In fact, these are now hyperlinks. So if I hold my cursor over figure one and hold down the control key, notice how the cursor changes to the finger. I'll click that and it hyperlinks me to that figure. Very nice feature. Before we leave this, one last thing. According to the American Chemical Society style for formal papers, figures and their captions should in fact be center justified. So let's do that. And of course, there's no reason for my text to be truncated. Let's use the Show Hide button on the Home tab. It shows us all the non-printing characters. And in fact, you see there is the Line Break tool. You can delete that. I had placed that there to give me space to bring my image up earlier in the video, if you recall. Let's get rid of that and remove my Show Hide tool. And it's good to go. ACS style approved.